In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how my Google Ads marketing agency, ClickSpring, uses AI to write a ton of our ad copy super easily and super efficiently. Now, AI is the new kid on the block when it comes to digital marketing, and pretty much every single company under the sun is trying to learn how to use it effectively. We figured out a really great framework to generate a bunch of ad copy, as I mentioned, really quickly, really effectively, and I want to share it with you today. This is going to save you hours of time and it's going to get you some amazing results in your ads because some of these are headlines and descriptions that you can generate have a fantastic CTR and a fantastic conversion rate. So my name is George. I, as I mentioned, I run an agency called ClickSpring. We help e-commerce brands scale up with Google and YouTube ads. Let's get into it. Okay, so here is the document, how to use AI to write Google ad copy step by step. Okay. Here's a little AI bot writing some ad copy here for you, okay? So first things first, step one, we've got to figure out what are we advertising, okay? Everything starts with the product. The ad copy is about the product. It's selling the click, and what sells the click is the value the product provides, okay? That's the mechanism we're, we're leveraging here. Okay, so obviously you're either writing and you're either writing ads for an ad, ad group or an asset group here. And typically your ad or asset group is going to be targeting either a specific product or specific category or theme of products. It should be at least anyway, so that you can actually create relevant ads, right? If, you, if, if there's a bunch of different products um, that your ad group or asset group are targeting, well, you're gonna have a pretty hard time finding uh, good resonance with your ads. So keep things specific. And let's say for instance, that we are advertising this product here, Bone Broth. Now, the company here, Best Bone Broth, super fortunate to have them as a client, one of the best UK companies for bone broth in the world pretty obviously there are some clear USPs with this product, right? So for example, it strengthens joints, it improves gut health, gives you smoother skin, gives you better sleep and recovery. Now, if you are the founder of an e-commerce brand or you are an agency working with an e-commerce brand, you should know your product's uh, USPs. But if you don't, well, you can use AI as well for this, right? Before we even get to writing ad copy, you can actually ask AI, hey, give me some unique selling points, by the way, that's what USP means for this specific product. And it's going to give you a bunch and you can use those for fuel basically for the the vehicle that is ai in terms of writing your ad copy so these usps are really important and this is this is basically how you write good ad copy right you demonstrate the value of your product you demonstrate the unique selling points of your product and that encourages customers to click okay so let's move on to step two which is actually crafting those headlines okay now when it comes to Google Ads, if you don't know, there are headlines, okay, uh, and there are descriptions. Those are pretty much the two main elements of an ad, right? The headlines are very short, um, and you can get multiple headlines in one ad. So you've got to make sure that your headlines complement each other, don't contradict each other. And obviously, they're going to be short, between 50 and 30 characters. And descriptions come below the headlines and obviously are more descriptive, hence the name. They are going to describe why you should click, describe more about the product, etc. Okay, so we're going to start with headlines. Headlines are the thing that grab the attention, okay? So for both search ads and for now for Performance Max, it didn't used to be the case, but now both uh, you're going to need uh, 15 uh, headlines. You don't need them, but you can have up to 15 short headlines for your ad, okay? So... This is the prompt that we use for ChatGPT to get started. So come up with five high converting headlines around 30 characters, because that's the character limit, and we want to use as much of that character limit as possible so that we can convey as much value as possible. 30 characters long for a Google Ads search campaign for X product, right? And then you're going to include X USPs that you identified up here, okay? So be very specific. ChatGPT needs as much detail as possible. Now, you don't have to write a prompt that's a paragraph long. You want something that's pretty easy to deploy and pretty uh, repeatable. So this is what we use. And this is the answer that we got, okay? So we got rich taste, low calorie broth or low cal broth, boost health with bone broth, paleo friendly bone broth, gut healing broth magic, sustainable tasty broth. I think those are pretty good for a first attempt. And we're going to talk a little bit about iteration and improving the output that you get from ChatGPT and AI later. Now, of course, you don't have to use ChatGPT. You can use Bard. You can use, um, you know, Bing. You can use a bunch of different stuff, right? There's so many different uh, chatbots out there. But um, ChatGPT, GPT-4 is excellent. We recommend you get GPT-4 if you can. If you can get the Plus subscription for ChatGPT, highly recommend it um, because the output is just going to be better, okay? So use the most advanced AI model that you can get your hands on, right? So repeat this two more times and you'll have 15 headlines to play with, okay? I like to start with five because I, if I give it a list of 15, it's the quality is going to be less, in my opinion. The quality is going to be lower. Um, I like to have it focus on three to five headlines at a time so that it can put, you know, as many, uh, it, so it can create as many unique headlines as possible, basically. So 
Important note, we don't just take output from ChatGPT and stick it directly into our campaigns. Now, while these headlines are good, we're using these as a starting off point before we apply our own copywriting skills to these headlines, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these, put them in a spreadsheet, we're gonna you know, get all the output first, and then we're gonna go through and edit it, improve it, um, edit it if it's, if it's just not you know, accurate, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So don't just go sticking what you get from ChatGPT directly into your campaigns because that could come up with a few issues. And we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. So, but what this does allow us to do is come up with a large volume of headlines to test. So don't allow anyone to kind of shame you for using AI. Um, you're not being lazy. You're actually being efficient and you're leveraging the technology at hand to get better results. So using AI allows us to come up with a huge volume of headlines to test. Um, for an incredibly small time input. So we actually get ahead of our competitors, of my clients' competitors, in terms of A-B testing because we have such a high volume of headlines and ad copy coming out, we just don't run out. So we're always gonna find the best uh, combination, okay? So for Performance Max, you'll also need to create long headlines as well um, because uh, Performance Max have long headlines, search ads don't. Um, I believe they are, again, as well, up to 90 characters, but they are, again, more of a headline style, more kind of attention grabbing, um, but you can just do the same thing, just inform ChatGPT to uh, include a higher character count. And here is a guy enjoying some bone broth, okay? Maybe he's bought the product from our ads at this point. So step three, we're gonna craft some descriptions. So headlines, now we're going to go into descriptions. So descriptions are different to headlines. Headlines grab attention, description explains why, you know, the product should basically is worth a click, right? Headlines kind of get you to read the description, the description gets you to click the ad in theory. Um, so a different approach is necessary, right? And I like to have descriptions laser focused on specific angles or specific USPs, right? So pick one specific angle and have Ch Ch ChatGPT write a 90 word description on it. So come up with five high converting descriptions around 90 characters long for a Google ads search campaign for you know X product. Focus each description on one specific USP of products, right? So here we are um, focusing on um, health benefits for bone broth. That's the one specific uh, USP we're going to focus on. And we're going to pick out you know, one or two of these from the options. And then we're going to focus on a different specific USP and a different one. And so we're just going to split test basically all these different USPs to see which performs the best and which is the most attractive. Okay. Um, and again, you can see this was uh, a product of me revising ChatGPT and sort of nudging it in the right direction. And we're going to get onto that in a second, okay? And here is another picture, AI generated, by the way, of someone, uh, of an AI bot enjoying uh, an advertisement in Los Angeles. Uh, step four, pretty on topic. Step four, crafting ad extensions. So finally, let's craft some ad extensions. Ad extensions that are often overlooked but have a ton of benefits. So you're gonna be able to take up more space on search engine results pages, which basically is just gonna increase your CTR. It's gonna give more info to customers. It's gonna just encourage them to uh, click. There's no reason you shouldn't be leveraging them, okay? So, you know, you've got site links and price extensions. Uh, uh, and image image extensions, but these aren't really ad copy heavy. You know, price extension, you're including prices, image extensions, images, site links are links to other pages on your, on your site. Where copy comes in is more the call out and structured snippets, okay? So call out extensions have a maximum character count of 25, same for structured snippets. So we'll just create five using ChatGPT. And I often find that you can be way less specific with this command prompt because by now the AI has pretty good idea of what you're trying to advertise. Um, and these are so short that you know, it's pretty hard to go wrong. And so first attempt, craft five call out extensions around 25 characters for bone broth. Got some great ones here, you know, pretty much not even much editing needed uh, at that point. Okay, so perfect. Step five, let's talk about iterating and improving. Now, people often think that AI will give you a perfect answer in the first try and they get frustrated with it when it doesn't. Well, I'm here to, I hate to break it to you, but that is not the case. Uh, AI is going to get it wrong quite a lot of the time. So you need to nudge it in the right directions to get a good output. So here are some common iterations that I frequently make, right? So uh, a lot of the time, ChatGPT is going to be using uh, exclamation marks as it did with our headlines. Exclamation marks aren't allowed in Google Ads because they're kind of viewed as a bit clickbaity. So I often tell it to write the same, but just don't include exclamation marks. Um, another one I use is don't use colons because colons, while they are allowed, kind of are a little bit lazy. I, I like to have my added copy kind of flow. Um, oftentimes, AI may not get the full character count, especially for descriptions. They can be on a bit, you know, a bit of the short side. So I'll, I'll say to make them longer. And then finally, sometimes the AI focuses 
too much on the USPs and, and doesn't really actually mention the product. So always make sure you're, you're mentioning the product. And a fifth one just off the top of my head is to include purchase intent language. So shop now, buy now, um, grab the item today. All of this kind of direct response ad copy is gonna increase CTR and get you more conversions. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna leave a link to this exact document so you can grab all of these prompts for completely free in the description. Um, and that's basically everything. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, please like the video, comment down below any questions or your thoughts or any videos you'd like to see in the near future. I'm open to ideas. Um, and you know, if you do that, hopefully YouTube will show you similarly valuable videos to this one. If you are interested in how we help e-commerce brands scale profitably with Google and YouTube ads, there's a link in the description. It's the first link. Uh, it is a sales pitch. You don't have to click it. Um, but if you are interested in uh, making some more money with Google ads, go ahead and click it. It's going to be a good decision. All right. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.